Uh, hello, everybody. My name is uh, Zhou Jiangwu. Uh, today, I will give you a report about the recent progress in the research of lattice-shaped diaper worm. Uh, first of all, I would like to express my great gratitude to the community of IRANSI for their uh, proposal for my best research award in IRANSI. So let's initiate. Uh, first of all, I would like to show you is the background. Uh, as we all know, that the diaphragm has many features. For example, it is capable of constructing at significant depths and wide, uh, and with substantial bore thickness. Uh, it is it is reported that the maximum depth of a diaper wall can be achieved to 170 meters, and its maximum wall thickness can be up to 3 meters. And the diaper wall usually can be applicable to all types of soils, from uh, soft ground to rocky terrain. The advantages for uh, advance is uh, for the diaper wall is that it can be constructed to nearby buildings, namely the adjacent. Uh, like railway and tunnels, uh, because it has minimal impacts on the surrounding soil. It can also be uh, constructing, constructed even under some restriction conditions, such as limited overhead space or in a narrow area. And uh, it can also utilize a low noise and low vibration construction method. <coughs> Uh, when you we use the uh, diaper wall as an earth uh, retaining wall, it has many features such as it has strong horizontal load bearing capacity and stiffness. It can also be utilized as a primary structure to support upper loads. And our characteristics uh, when a diaper wall used as a foundation, it can exhibit excellent adhesion to the ground, which can result in a significant supporting capacities. It can be also adapted to various shapes, including rectangulars and polygons. Uh, today, we will talk about the uh, next shape of diaper wall, which is an uh, uh, innovative foundation structure, where adjacent ground and ground continuous wall structures are interconnected through rigid joints. Uh, it can create a closed framework in a rectangular shape and incorporating a top platform as we shown uh, as we all can see in the left figures. Uh, so in the 1970 uh, line, the first application case of SW was in the uh, Japan, as we can see it's a Shinkansen high-speed railway. Uh, for, uh, through the fairy tests, which is carried by uh, Halo Takura, under the same, it turned out to be that under the same geological, uh, uh, geological conditions and with an uh, equivalent volume of concrete usage, uh, it became evident that the horizontal load bearing performance of a uh, LCDW significantly surpassed that of the uh, casing foundation. Uh, as a new type of diaphragm foundation, uh, the LCDW possesses the following characteristics. The first one is it shares the uh, general advantages of traditional diaphragm walls, such as suitability for construction in narrow spaces with surrounding buildings and minimal uh, environmental impact and low noise ne never, uh, levels. And the second is that it, under the equivalent conditions, it constructing uh, when we constructing uh, SW is simple than casing foundations and it saves time reducing steel consumption and lowering costs. They also offer significantly higher safety and bearing capacities. The third one is that it, uh, in contrast to deep excavation foundations, different one foundation can reduce excavation volume by over uh, two in three and decrease concrete usage by approximately one third and it provide stronger flood resistance. And when compared to power foundations, LSTW has higher stiffness, greater horizontal load bearing capacity, and better seismic performance, and requires less steel reinforcement. 
Uh, today, I would like to introduce you to uh, many three parts. Uh, the first one is application status of SDW. Uh, currently, the practical cases of using SDW in bridge foundation engineering are relatively limited, uh, with the main focuses being in uh, being on Japan, and such cases are real in European and American countries. Japan has utilized the Jaffa Home Foundation as the primary load bearing structure for bridge in, uh, in over 80, per, uh, 80 projects under challenging conditions such as long spams, deep foundation, soft soil, turbulent water flows, and difficult construction conditions, which can achieve good economic benefits. There is a, a table to show the typical Jaffa Home Bridge Foundation project in Japan. Among it, I would like to introduce the Amaro Bridge, which is a cable state bridge with a central span of 240 meters, and it utilizes a six seal type SDWs for both of its main towers after replacing alternatives such as casing or box foundations and natural enemy power foundations. Uh, and in China, the development of HDW technology and research started relatively late. However, with continuous advancements in construction technology and research, the Daffrao foundations has gradually replaced casing foundations and pair foundations in the construction of super deep and large scale foundations. An example of this trend is a highway overpass located at uh, Key. Uh, 23 and uh, plus 350 uh, 80, 85 on the Fuzhuang to Lingyi section of National Highway 209. The bridge employs a uh, single seal SDW bridge foundations capable of bearing both vertical loads from the superstructure and horizontal loads as, as the supports. It represents the first application of SDWs in high grade match span highway bridges in China. Uh, here is uh, uh, the other two, the uh, last two cases to show the application of SDWs uh, in China. The first one is uh, bridges includes uh, uh, one uh, single chamber of SDWs. The, fun uh, the foundation reaches a depth of approximately of uh, twelve point nine meters. The le uh, left one, the right one is that of uh, uh, express super large bridge with a main span of 295 meters. Uh, it utilizes uh, SDWs with four chambers. Mm. And hereafter is a, a table to show the typical application of Devra Wong as bridge foundations, uh, especially for the anchor foundations in China. Uh, it is commonly used in the suspension bridges and the cable state uh, bridges for their anchor foundations. The uh, next part I would like to introduce is the research progress of SDW. In terms of field, uh, field testing, uh, Chen and Meng and others conducted static notes on SDW foundations. They concluded that the bearing back capacity of underground uh, diaphragm worm is probably provided by later reflection uh, resist resistance, namely the skin friction, and is suitable for use as bridge foundation in, in Lewis's, uh, Lewis areas. Some and others derived the variation patterns of lateral displacement, bending moment, uh, shear force, rotation angle, and lateral soil resistance along the tips of the wall under various low levels from field experiments. Uh, in terms of laboratory model tests, in, namely the uh, 1G indoor model tests or the centrifuge tests, Dai and others conducted model tests on single seal and four seal SDWs of three different sizes. Their experiments revealed that the failure of single seal one is exhibits, uh, exhibits an overall inclined uh, failure characteristics, while the four seal one exhibits reached failure characteristics upon failures. Uh, Wu and others used the uh, scaled minotests 
to stimulate the battery capacity of single 2 and 4 CO SWs on soft uh, ground compared with group pile foundations. The experiments in indicated that the casing type on the ground continuous ball foundation exhibits superior uh, bearing capacity and abutment characteristics compared to group pile foundations. The and others conducted centrifuge mode tests to investigate the seismic resistance and liquefaction resistance of SDW foundations in liquefactible uh, soil during seismic events. In terms of numerical simulations, one and others conducted a numerical analysis of the horizontal loading and seismic response of SDW and power foundation using similar materials. The results show that the, in soft soil foundation, LCW exhibited better horizontal load carrying capacity and seismic resistance compared to power foundations. Wu and others, based on the DM method, investigated the soil arching effect of uh, this foundation. And John and others established a 3D numerical model of LCWs uh, using open seas to study the anti liquefaction mechanism of LCWs and the effects on earthquake in positionally liquefiable sites. The results show that LCWs have a significant mitigation effect on soil infection. And in terms of theoretical analysis, uh, two simplified models are proposed by the Japan guidelines. The first one is the rigid body calculation method. Uh, this method is proposed by the former Japanese National Railways, which considers the foundation of the rigid body and it replaces the surrounding soil with eight different types of springs and calculates using static principles as shown in the figures. Uh, this, mo uh, this model has some uh, disadvantages because, uh, in fact, the, the therefore ones especially for the lung, uh, for, uh, for the one with uh, large dips, it may choose uh, not a rigid body. The second uh, model is uh, elastic body calculation method. This, this model employs the calculation approaches for casing foundation outlined in the road and bridge design guidelines. It treats the foundation as an elastic body and models the surrounding soil with four types of springs. Uh, the calculations are performed using static principles as is as illustrated, uh, illustrated in the figure. And this method has also has uh, uh, disadvantages because it uh, like, uh, it uh, may ignore the soil corn interaction with the wall. To obtain better calculation accuracy Wu and others established an analytic model for LCWs uh, based on the load transfer method and improved the load transfer method and introduced an analytical calculation method for the calculation of vertical load transfer and displacement. And when we consider the LCW under uh, lateral and other uh, loads such as tangent and applied, we also proposed closed and semi-closed forms to calculate its load transfer um, uh, mechanism, as we can show in the, this uh, figures. Uh, last, I want to show you uh, the summary and outlook of today's presentation. The first one is that the excellent engineering characteristics and their extensive application of SDW, especially in the construction of large span bridges, demonstrates its promising engineering prospects. And the second one is currently scholars have conducted in deep research on the load bearing characteristics of SDWs under horizontal and vertical static conditions, achieving numerous advancements in addition. There has been exploration into their seismic interaction resistance mechanism. Last one is that, however, there are still many areas worth of further exploration. For instance, 
the design and calculation series for SDWs are not yet complete, and there is a lack of design and calculation methods for complex conditions such as scouring, cyclonic loadings, and seismic scenarios. Uh, thank you for all, and that's all for my today's presentation. I, as last, nice, I also uh, would like to exp uh, express my gratitude to the community to uh, make this work to me again. Thank you for all.